How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, in this video, I'm going to answer probably the question that I get asked the most. And no, it's not why I'm so hairy. I'm sorry, I don't really know. I blame it on my parents or my fourth others. I'm also probably descended from like a Wookiee or something. But it is, what a desk am I using? And where can you buy one for yourself? And just a quick answer for that, you can't because this is a custom made disc, although it is really simple, affordable, and we're gonna give you guys all of the information about the desk if you want to build one for yourself. So let's get into my desk right after this. Now, just to clarify, this is not going to be like a complete setup tour about all the hardware and everything. It's only about my desk, all of the information about that, if you want to get one for yourself. So, firstly, the inspiration for my desk. Now, probably just watching a lot of YouTube videos like uh, Tech Shorts and Random Frank P setup tour videos, and then just other pictures that I saw online. Uh, it mostly it came from like the IKEA sets, like the IKEA Alex drawers. Probably just doesn't look as boxy as this one. Actually, has drawers. So the IKEA Alex drawers, and then just a tabletop. It's not really that crazy. And mostly you can get all of that on IKEA for relatively cheap. Probably like also a hundred dollars or so on. But unfortunately, here in South Africa, we don't have IKEA, and we, if we want to get something relatively similar, we have to spend around five times and probably more than that to get that, which I don't really understand why everything is so expensive here. Uh, I mean, also, if you just want to import IKEA stuff, you're looking at probably a thousand dollars for just something basic. Now, that's the reason why I had to build my own desk. Again, it's really, really simple. I probably built this in just like an hour or so. I bought all of the parts at the hardware store. They cut everything for me and I probably just had to assemble the, the like four pieces for the boxes. So really, really simple. But now let's get into actually the parts that I used and just all the other information. So starting off with the tabletop first, you guys might actually be surprised, but this is a door. So just like a normal door like that, it's pretty much like that instead of just having like the lines and everything, it's pretty much clear. So the reason why I went with a door was because it was cheaper firstly, it was around 600 Rand or $35. You might even get it cheaper and like if you live in the US because everything is cheaper over there. And the uh, second reason is because it was a bit stronger. Instead of me having to buy like double sheets, I could just get a single door and it didn't really have to worry. The measurements for the door is pretty much a standard door length. I, if I remember right, 2030 millimeters, so around two meters by 810. So it's a pretty nice length if you want to have enough space for everything on your desk. So you pretty much, if you have like a monitor stand like I have and everything, it actually has enough space for everything. <laughs> now moving on to the monitor stand, the reason why I went with a stand instead of having everything mounted to the wall, kind of like I did with uh, the uh, TV, was because firstly, again, it was expensive. Everything in this entire desk is really affordable. 
whereas if you want to buy a triple monitor arm stand or just a mount here it would cost you around 300 dollars which is just way too expensive so I went with a monitor stand instead that I also just bolts. Uh, it was like 1750 millimeters up by 350. So it's good enough to be able to handle any monitor and then also have enough space if you want to like put stuff on it or whatever, like a second keyboard, uh, anything like that. And then for just to keep it up i just use these chrome legs that i bought also again it was really cheap it's like one dollar or 300 or 35 rand so it's it's quite cheap and it just kind of gives like layers to the desk same with the uh with the boxes down here which we'll get into a bit later so that i just found to look a bit more interesting than just having a standard i don't know like drawer thing that you also get from ikea so that's kind of why i went with this uh, and kind of just RGB everywhere. Just want to mention that I uh, do have like lights behind here and everything. But now moving on to these drawers. So again, kind of have two of them, pretty standard ones. And they do resemble again, the Ikea ones. But instead of actually having drawers, I just left them open. Unfortunately, you can see some cables there at the back. Can't really hide that that much because I do have like three multi plugs in the setup. One behind there. Let's see if I can zoom in there. One there, and then also one in that box just to handle all of the power. So it it kind of it drains part of this setup. But getting into the boxes, uh, I can't really remember all of the measurements, but it's 810 like in depth. I think 500 and something in height. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll leave the measurements up here. So it just works great if you want to have enough space for leg room between there. And then also it's the same like depth as the, as the table. If you want to change the tabletop, you can just change the, the depth of the, yeah, the depth. So now the reason why it doesn't have drawers, I firstly wanted to make drawers for my desks, but instead of doing the drawers, I actually let, just left them open because I can store PCs there. So this is just a empty Landboy air case that I'm just having there to look like a bowler. And then this is actually my gaming PC that I'm using to game on and then my work and streaming PC. So it's just a nice and easy way to actually store them without putting them anywhere crazy like on the desk, which is gonna take up way too much space. So that's kind of why I went with that. Also, I pretty much have the exact same chrome legs that I used for the monitor stand down here, uh, which again, also cheap. I use around five of them, two or four in the corners and then one in the middle, just to add a bit more strength to handle the heavy weight of like the, the PCs and the monitors and everything. So it, it just gives a bit more strength to, to the desk. So that is pretty much it. So kind of, again, adds a bit more layers just to make it look a bit more interesting. Now it does kind of resemble like random Frank P setup, especially with the chrome legs, uh, or, well, with the legs. Uh, I, th I think I probably got that from him. I can't remember if I actually built my desk beforehand or after, but I think I got my inspiration from his and it just looks really cool. I just added a lot more <laughs> RGB to my desk. So that is kind of that's for the main desk. Again, I will leave all of the measurements also in the description for you guys if you want to build your own. And just to get some more information, if you guys want to do something like this, you can get some of these just like bookshelves. I got mine from Mr. Price for, get this, it, the bookshelves on its own were more than the entire desk. <laughs> So the bookshelves were around 1,200 Rand, which is probably like $80 or so on, or $90. So they were the most expensive. The reason why I didn't just bolt them is because I was lazy. <laughs> so that is the biggest reason why I kind of just bought them it's easy and I didn't really have to do anything. But for the desk, because I couldn't really like buy one that was relatively affordable i had to bolt this one so that is kind of the desk 
I do again have all of my RGB and everything. Unfortunately, there's a lot of cables over there. So I have to sort that out. Uh, but that is kind of the desk. So that is pretty much it for my desk. I do hope you guys liked it and also if it actually helped you to decide if you want to build something similar for not like a hundred dollars. It was pretty cheap. Now, um, also I know you guys will probably have some questions about the hardware that I'm using, the lights and, and just so on. I have made a like a setup guide video going into in depth of like what you can add to your desk to make it really look cool like all of the lights and, and everything i did make a relatively long video about that so i also just go watch that one or wait for like my setup tour video which i'll also see when that video will come out but I also leave a link in the video description for a, a link to like the, my PC hardware that I'm using. It's always changing, uh, but maybe you guys can just get like some information about the system that I currently have behind me. That is pretty much it for my desk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it again. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. Also, if you guys have any other questions, uh, I will try to reply them in the comments below. But just try to watch the entire video because the, uh, there's a lot of information here so thanks for watching guys and i will check all of you next time cheers guys